Hey guys, welcome back to Cosmic Manga. I hope you're all doing well. So, in today's video, I'll be showing you 10 mangas where the main character goes from weak to strong. And before we start, I just request you all to press the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as I upload a new video. And now, let's get to the list. Number 10 Dungeon House. This manga follows our main character Kim whose house has been connected to a dungeon and to get out he has to clear it in a certain time limit with the help of other humans present in the dungeon. But unfortunately everyone other than the main character has already been killed and now he has to clear the dungeon all by himself. And to do this our main character tames three skeletons with the help of his ability. Also the skeletons regain the memories of their previous life. Alright so the art of this manga is decent and the story is generic but if you like mangas where the main character is a summoner, tamer or a necromancer you should definitely give it a try and as of now it has 24 chapters. Number 9 Way to Heaven A strange relationship began when orphan siblings met an old woman who claimed to be their grandmother. But this old woman in actuality is a superior master of Muriam who lost her memory due to a disease. The woman recognized the hidden talent of the eldest sibling and started to train him. Thus began the journey of the last disciple of Jin Mu Shinmo. Alright so this manhwa has a lot of potential and it has really good art too. And as of now it has 22 chapters. So if you like martial arts manhwas you should definitely give it a try. Number 8 Reformation of the Deadbeat Noble Eren is a boy who sleeps to run away from his reality. People mocked him, calling him a deadbeat, but he had no wish to change. Until one day, he dreamt of a swordsman. It was a dream about a talentless man who had been training by swinging the sword every day for decades. Alright, so the thing that I like about this manhwa is that Eren isn't just instantly made overpowered, but we actually get to see him progress through hard work and perseverance. So if you are into shonen mangas, you should definitely give it a try. And as of now, it has 18 chapters. Number 7. The Book Eating Magician Theodore Miller is a student of the Magic Academy. His lifelong dream is to become a magician. But unfortunately, he could not graduate from the academy because he had almost no talent with magic and had to repeat years. One day, however, he finds a grimoire that merges with his hand and makes Theodore feed it with magic books and artifacts to satisfy its hunger. And any magic in the artifact or the book becomes his own. Alright, so this manhwa has really good art and as for the story, it doesn't really do anything new. Also, this is going to have harm in it, so it might not be for everyone. But still give it a try and see if you like it. Number 6 Ultimator Savior Gu, our main character, is your everyday lowlife, a thug who robs people to make a living. One day, he comes across a weird looking lady and decides to rob her wallet. But it turns out that the lady is actually a man in disguise who came to recruit Savior to the Hero Academy. Alright, so for the most part, this manhwa doesn't take itself seriously at all and has a lot of comedy. And at the same time, all the action sequences and the tension between characters is portrayed perfectly. And as for the art, it might not be the best, but considering the type of manhwa this is, it is perfectly fine. And as of now, it has 178 chapters, so give it a try and see if you like it. Number 5 Sekai no Wari no Encore A boy called Ren, who wants to become a knight, has no talent in wielding swords. Despite looking exactly like Elin, the brave hero, he has been having a lifestyle where people taunt him as the fake hero. And suddenly one day, the legendary dragon princess Krish appears in front of him. She mistakes Ren for Aline, though she gets disappointed since he simply looks like him, but she later finds out a hidden potential in him. And she invites him on a journey to find the Encore together with Archangel Fia and Demon Lord LC. Alright, so this manga has really good art and the story is pretty decent. Also, this is a harem manga, so it may not be for everyone. And as of now, it has 58 chapters. So give it a try and see if you like it. Number 4 Player So the story follows our main character Seol Jin Hu, who is your everyday high school student. And one day he was reading a famous webtoon and he didn't like how the story progressed. So he wrote a comment that said, 
If this becomes the best comment, I'll beat that girl using combustion blade. And after seeing this, the god of the webtoon transports our main character into the world of that webtoon and tasks him to reach the top of the tower and becoming the number one ranked player in that world. Alright, so this manga has absolutely amazing art and the story is really good. And you can also see a lot of character development in the main character and the side characters as well. And as of now, it has 58 chapters, so definitely give it a try. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Number 3 Mission Yozakura Family High school student Taiyo Asano has been socially inept ever since his family died in a car crash. The only person he can properly interact with is his childhood friend Mitsumi Yozakura, the head of the world's strongest family of spies. Mitsumi's eldest brother has been overprotective of her ever since he once rendered her severely injured. His love for Mitsumi is lethal, and Taiyo is his next target. To survive, he must marry Mitsumi and become a member of the Yuzakura family. Thrown headfirst into the chaos, Taiyo begins his journey to become a powerful spy in order to protect his wife and uncover the dark secrets of his past and the Yuzakura family. Number 2 Memoir of the King of War So, the manhwa follows our main character, Dan Sayu, who lives in a remote village called Jung. Even though everyone in the village mocks him for being an outsider, he tries to live peacefully along with two siblings, Moe and her brother Jok San. But then, one day, a special envoy comes to their village to choose a girl as a princess, and the village decides to send Moe. Hearing this, Tan Sayu gets enraged and tries to run away along with the siblings, but fails and is left at the death's doorstep. But fortunately, he is saved by a supreme martial artist and is then trained to become a complete monster. Alright, so this manhwa is really good art and the story is pretty good. But the only problem that I have is that the main character gets overpowered really soon and he doesn't face any challenges whatsoever. So this makes the story somewhat predictable. Number 1. Alexeed Jin Wu is a kind-hearted young man who loves cats and he one day stumbles across a very fat injured cat. But it turns out that the cat is actually a human called Kaiden, who transformed into a cat after being chased by some dangerous people. And apparently Kaiden is an awakened one. Not just any awakened one, but one of the most powerful in the world. And our main character also happens to have some powers and, and this leads to Kaiden training Jin Wu to harness his powers and becoming absolutely overpowered. Alright, so this manhwa might be a little slow paced at start, but as you continue reading it, you'll absolutely fall in love with it. It has a lot of character development, not just in the main character, but the side characters as well. Also, it has a perfect balance between comedy and action. Alright guys, this is the end of today's video. I hope that you all liked it. And if you have any recommendations for me or suggestions or want me to make videos on any specific topic, just leave a comment down below. I'll get to it as soon as I can. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. If you do, I would really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.